Student Groups in Edge Elastic will allow you to add students to a group from multiple classes. You could then use this group to either assign or filter data in the reports. It is highly recommended that you read the article in the description below to fully understand the difference between a group and class. If you need additional help, reach out to your Customer Success Manager for assistance. To create a group, you need to first create a class and add students to it. Once you've done this, go to the Manage Class icon. From here, you have the ability to go to Groups and add a group now. Or, you can just simply click into the class and select a couple students. From there, click Actions, Add to Group, and Add New. Clicking Add New will allow me to create a new group, and I just need to insert my information here as if I was creating a normal class. Now, I have created my group and the students have been added. I'll go back to Manage Class and click on the second class. I need to add these two students to that group as well. So I'll follow the same steps, click Actions and Add to Group, but this time, I'll just select the group. To see which students are a part of this group or to edit any of the information, I'll click on Manage Classes and Groups. From here, I can click on the group and now I'm on this group, I can see which students are a part of it, or come up here and edit the group information. You'll find these groups in a couple different places. One of them is when you're assigning an assessment. When you're assigning an assessment, you'll see this class group section. You'll be able to click in there, and you'll see your class icon here, and your group icon. The group will allow you to assign a particular assessment regardless of the class they're actually in. However, there's some important data information you need to read in the article mentioned previously. The other place I can find this group is in the Reports tab. Regardless of which report you click, you need to choose Refine Results. This is where you'll find the Groups filter, and this will allow you to filter and only see a particular group's results on the test, regardless of which class they were a part of when they took that assessment. 